This video I'm going to talk about exponential decay as a mathematical process anyway, sort of the if you're in a college or high school algebra and you see it, what's it mean? Um, so this is the formula for an exponential function, y equals a, which is your starting point, times uh, your change rate raised to the uh, exponent value. So in exponential decay, this is your initial point. This is your, uh, if it was an exponential growth, it'd be your growth factor. So in a way, this is your decay factor. So it's really how much it goes down. You usually calculate it by, it, uh, it'll say it's a decrease, it'll be in percentage, so it's usually 1 minus your percent. And then your x is just your input, number of years or whatever it happens to be. So those are the main functions. Let's do a few of them really quickly and then be done with it. So in the first one, anything you buy, of course, goes down in value for the most part. Some don't, I guess, but uh, anything non-jewelry related. A boat costs 16850 and the value decreases to 9% per year. The joke about a boat is as soon as you drive it off the lot, it's half the price. It's worth half as much as you bought it for, but whatever. We're going to look at the value of it in 14 years, losing 9% per year. So uh, I set up my equation. Now here my A value is, of course, my 16,850. My B value is actually 1, so th in order to consider this as opposed to just, just being 9% of nothing, I'm going to do 9%, but this will be 1 minus 9%, or really 1 minus 0 0.09. Because if you don't uh, adjust, like don't do 1 minus 0.9, because that would be a 90% uh, decrease, which is not, a, not what you want at all. So 1 minus 0.09 is uh, 0.91. Ninety-one hundredths. And then x would be the number of years. And they tell me this time it's 14 years. So I'm going to raise it to the 14th power. Let's go ahead and type it in. 16850 times 0.91 and I'm raising it to the 14th power. Hit it. In 16 years, your beautiful $16,000 boat will be worth, if you are lucky, um, and I'm going to do a little bit of rounding here because I'm optimistic about the cost of my boat, uh, up to around $4,500, which is not very much compared to what it costs, but it's better than nothing. That's a reason, you know, it could be in real life it's probably worth three grand. If you Craigslist it, you probably get less than that, but you know, whatever. Uh, one more. If you have some sort of uh, wildlife refuge and you have a population of cheetahs that you can actually count, because they're fast. I don't know if you've read about them. I'm kidding. Obviously, you know what a cheetah is if you're watching this. Um, 500 cheetahs. Your population is going to decrease at 6% per year. What population can you expect in 2025? And that's the thing about this. I mean, this is a scenario that we're sort of guessing about. Obviously this number you hope if it maintains. The likelihood of it maintaining a 6% decrease per year is unlikely. It'll probably increase or decrease from there, but who knows. Anyway, my starting point is of course 500. My decay factor would be 1 minus 6% or 1 minus 0 0.06, which is a uh, point... I don't know why I can't talk today. 0.94 And the x, uh, the input value is a little different here. Don't put 2025, otherwise you'll get, that'll tell you what happens in 2,000 years. All those cheetahs that you would have had would have been dead. Cheetahs might not exist in 2,000 years, who knows. So you have to make an adjustment. I need to know how far it is or how many years from 2025 uh, to 2014. Well, 11 years. I just did this. You know, duh. So raise this to the 11th power. Going in, 500 times 0.94 raised to the 11th, and it gives you 253-ish, so around 253, which is a little sad. In 11 years, you over ha about half of your cheetahs are gone. Uh, anyway, that's uh, exponential decay. Not really that complicated. You need to make some adjustment for your growth factor in the sense that you need to convert the percentage and do a subtraction minus one. And then you need to be smart about which exponent you pick and that it matches what it's supposed to match. Other than that, nothing.